So I don't know if y'all know this, but uh, every, every year Forbes magazine has a list of the 100 most powerful women in the world, and it just came out, and uh, exciting news, I'm number 10. I'm the 10th most... <laughs> thinking, uh, what I'm thinking, how come I'm not number one? But, <laughs> so Michelle Obama is number one, which makes sense, because she's the first lady. Oprah is number three, and I don't think that's fair, because I think she owns Forbes. But, <laughs> uh, so I, it's pretty cool to be number ten, uh, uh, you know, on that kind of list. And also, my Starbucks just named me Customer of the Week, so it's a good time for me right now. <laughs> Really feeling good. Um, but I want to keep things in perspective because, you know, being on the Forbes most powerful list is not everything until you combine it with the fact that I was also on the list of Entertainment Weekly's 50 most powerful entertainers. And then it's everything. <laughs> On that list, I'm number eight, and uh, Oprah's number three, and that's not care fair because she owns Entertainment Weekly. <laughs> but, um, you know, I didn't really even know that I was that, most, uh, that powerful. I mean, sometimes I think I am, but it's not like I can just, you know, clap my hands and somebody's gonna bring me water or something like that. <laughs> but, oh. Well, I mean, sometimes, it, no, thank you, thank you. That's my Ellen water, I have water. Anyway, obviously it's nice to be powerful, but, you know, I think it's really what you do with the power that matters. I think that you have to raise awareness for social issues. I think you have to donate time and money to important causes. I think you have to reach out to children who are our next generation, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. But, um, <laughs> so here's what I want to do with my power. These are things I've been thinking of. Ever since this list came out, I was like, well, what can I do with the power? So number one. At the end of The Bachelor, not only will he have to pick someone, he will be required to marry that person and live with him for 15 years. I don't care how he feels the next day. <laughs> Number two, real health care reform. Hospital gowns should wrap all the way around the body. <laughs> and clothes with Velcro. Number three, if you're going to talk loud on your cell phone, I have a right to be a part of that conversation. <laughs> Number four, I would tell Oprah to send my whole audience to Australia as well. <laughs> She's higher up on the list. I don't have that kind of power. <laughs> 